Let's plot the base characteristic of an NPN bipolar junction transistor. This is a plot of its base current as a function of base emitter voltage. We'll need the virtual components toolbar visible. And let's go ahead and find a typical transistor. This is the 2N2222. I'm using the scroll wheel to zoom in so we can see that a bit better. I'll begin by placing a voltage source that I can use to control the base emitter voltage. I'll give that a nominal value of one half volt. Go ahead and get the ground in there too. All right, now I have one voltage source to control the base emitter voltage. Let me copy that and then modify it to a second voltage source that controls the collector emitter voltage. Get that a little bit higher nominal value. Now we'll be stepping the base emitter voltage and plotting the current flowing into the base and then I'll do that for various values of the collector emitter voltage. Let me begin by setting up a DC sweep. I need the base emitter voltage to step through the values of 0 to 1, but let's do this in a little bit finer steps. I'll modify the default to 0 0.01 volts. Then I'll use the second source and I'll step that one from 2 volts up to 20 volts in 2 volt steps. The output that we're mainly interested in is the base current. You'll notice that we have a family of curves that have been plotted here. Each one of these curves corresponds to a different value of collector emitter voltage. For example, here we have collector emitter voltage is 2 volts, here it's 4, and so on. So you can work your way down to any of these values between 2 and 20 volts. When you activate the cursors, you'll notice that you have access to all of the traces simultaneously. And you can pick out any selected trace and then find that in the cursor display window. We see a whole range of values and they certainly spread out as we see higher values of base emitter voltage. Now you'll notice we have a pretty long region where it's zero current. If you'd like to be able to see the interesting areas just a little bit better, you can select a non-zero value for the minimum plotting limit for the x-axis. Let's go ahead and get the grid on there, and you see we have a, a nice family of curves there.